So hello everyone, we're back again. I just wanted to give you an update on this bug that we have seen in uh, iOS 14.6. YouTube user KDA2495 commented that uh, you could work around this issue if you locked your device and then unlocked it again, then that would be, uh, that would be a fix. So let's uh, just try that out. So as you can see here, the device, when you boot it up straight into iOS, it's at 400 megahertz. Uh, so let's just run Geekbench to see the the impact of the 400 megahertz on this device. And you can see here the result is pretty poor, uh, which is what can be expected when you run at 400 megahertz. So let's just try the fix uh, to lock the device uh, and unlock it again. But first, let's just confirm that we're still at 400 megahertz. We are. So let's uh, unlock the device, lock it, sorry, and then unlock it again. And then uh, let's go back in and refresh CPU Dasher. Pooh, we're back at the regular speed. So let's just verify this fix on the 6S. So we boot it up straight into iOS. So let's go straight into uh, CPU Dasher to check if uh, this device is also running at 400 megahertz. And we are still at 400 megahertz on the CPU. Uh, so let's just go back out uh, and in again and just uh, update and refresh. Nothing changes, still 400 megahertz. So let's lock the device and uh, unlock it again to see if uh, the workaround works on the 6S. And it seems to be working. So let's run Geekbench uh, once again, just to make sure that we're getting the scores that we're expecting. And uh, yeah, let's see what happens. So my devices are not locked by a passcode. So maybe that's why I'm seeing this issue and you're not. So uh, at least there's a workaround for it and hopefully this bug will be fixed when, uh, whenever iOS 14.6 beta 3 is out. So thanks for watching this video and thanks to KDA2495 for pointing out this workaround in the comments section. So take care, bye bye.